What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brian, man, Sean, and we got to talk about when being Scar Lord, Triple X, 6 9 Bill Saber, and so many of these artists who have a distorted sound goes wrong. And to make it clear, I'm not talking about these particular artists, but I'm talking about upcoming artists who's trying to make similar type music. One of the biggest mistakes that I get when I hear and talk to a lot of these underground artists who are just really starting out is thinking that this distorted sound that all of these artists use is a result of not doing what a lot of the artists who have very polished sounding music do. But that's just not the truth. Let's say Scar Laura, for example. Do you think something could sound that wild and distorted but still sound good if it wasn't mixed properly? What a lot of artists need to really understand is that people still mix this music. This is just a different type of mix. Just like if you do country music, it's mixed differently than hip hop music. And there's various types of mixes even within hip hop. That's why Jay-Z likes to use his same mix engineer, Young Guru, since like the last 20 years. Because Guru gets his music to sound how he likes his music to sound. Why that's so important to note, and what I mean by when it goes wrong is, I've heard a lot of these artists' music and it doesn't sound good. And you say, oh no, but I'm going for that distorted feel. I'm going for that unmixed, that unpolished feel. But the issue is, when you play it for fans, Fans are used to hearing these high quality mixes. Yes, it sounds distorted, it sounds raw. There are some different elements that are in the music that are in the other more polished types of mixes. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to connect like you think you will. People are just gonna hear it and they're gonna say, mm, that's trash, I don't like how that sounds, or the bass isn't driving enough, or whatever sounds that need to connect how they need to, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Put it this way, it's pretty popular for everybody to dress homeless these days because of Kanye West. But the thing is, some of them homeless clothes that you see Kanye West wear, they aren't just clothes picked up off the street. They aren't just random tears that are in clothes. These clothes were still designed to look how they look. Put this hole right here in the shirt. Put this hole right here in the pants. Let this be tattered or be too long on this side. It was all done on purpose. It was built to look like that. And it still costs as if that much design attention was put behind it. So when someone goes, man, $300 just to look homeless. Well, it's because they still put $300 worth of design effort into that shirt. All that to say, bringing it back to your music, your music still needs that intentional design put towards it. That sound design, that mix engineering, mastering whatever you need to do to get it to sound distorted, but still be able to connect with people. Because you don't want all this stuff to be going on throughout the music and then your voice is just somewhere in the background. People can barely understand you and not in one of those intentional ways. It's just like, what are you talking about? Or your voice sounds like you turned it down to one while the rest of the track is on 100 volume or something like that. And that's really it for that matter. You have to pay attention to what's really going on. I know a part of the music industry is to make things seem like they're rawer than they are or make them seem like they're easier or more magical or bigger than they are. But at the end of the day, there's real work being done in the background. And if you want your music to sound like those artists, I get it. Like especially Scar Lord, the fact that his junk is it's so extremely distorted sounding, but somehow it still feels good. And he's his fast rapping that he does with it a lot of times. It has a great feeling, I get it, but there's work to be done to get it there. One last example that randomly just came to my head is a lot of people look at abstract paintings and say, yo, man, they just put this randomly here and this randomly there. Like, I don't get it. A three year old could do that. But oftentimes those abstract paintings that are selling for millions of dollars were done by people who were still specialists. They built all of the techniques. They put time in their masters of their work. And then eventually as they mastered the craft, they became more and more abstract. And because they mastered techniques, Although you might see it as just completely random, you're an untrained eye, somebody else who is more familiar with what's going on can say, yo, he did this, but he did this on purpose, right? This and this came together. The way they brought those techniques into unison is beautiful and it's worth whatever it's worth. That's the same for distorted music. Yeah, anybody can make distorted music, but everybody can't make distorted music sound great. And that's it for this video. Of course, I wanna know you guys' thoughts as always. Put that stuff in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. 
hit that subscribe.